The Queen City shut down more than two miles of roads for a second year this weekend for Open Streets BTV. So Open Streets closes down the streets for a festival. But this year, the event is also a chance to showcase options for Burlington Roads, aimed to accommodate both bikers and pedestrians. What's also happening today is pop-up demonstrations of protected bike lanes. So this is bike lanes that could be on our streets in Burlington and in any other town where the bicyclist is actually protected by the parked cars or by planters. The idea is by placing parked cars or even plants a few feet off the curb, you can create a buffer lane for bikers to ride in. That way they aren't maneuvering between parked cars and moving vehicles out on the road. It makes a lot more sense for the stationary vehicle could be the buffer between the moving bikes and the moving cars rather than a traditional design we see, which is where the moving bicycle is the buffer between a parked car and a moving car. These are obstacles the engineers over at VHB are working to fix. There was these recent tragedies in the area in this county as well as um, other counties in Vermont. And I, I think uh, as, as an absolute minimum, we can all um, learn from that and, and bring the focus more onto you know, how we can improve our infrastructure to accommodate bikes on a regular basis. Mark Colgan is a managing director for VHB. He says Burlington's biggest infrastructure problem is consistency. The city's really working on it, though, in, in terms of trying to provide a, a corridors that allow um, open access for bikes and, and increases, increases of safety. An investment in safer infrastructure, organizers say, will be good for growth. And we want our streets to be safe for biking all over the city and all the time.